Hey everyone, in this video, I'll be teaching you how to use the Python requests library. You can use requests to send and read data from websites. For example, if you will go into Chrome and right click inspect or hold control shift I, and then navigate to the network tab, here you will be able to see a list of all the current requests. For example, if you search something, you can see a lot of stuff popped up here. This is basically what is going on in the background, what info is being sent. As an example, I'll be using Discord since it's quite simple. If you do the same thing, hold Control Shift I and go to network and send a message, you can see a pop, a thing popped up here that says messages. This is basically what happens when you send a message. This data in the payload is being sent to this URL. Basically, to send a message using the requests Python library, all we will need is the request URL, the payload, so the content of the message, and the token, the authorization. So let's get into it. First, we need to set up a couple of variables, like the URL. You can copy and paste it. Then the data which will only contain the content of the message. Let's say this message was sent with Python and the header, which will only contain the authorization, which is the token. Now we need to find the type of request. There are two types of requests, get and post. This request is a post type request. You can see it says the request method at the top. So we will be using requests.post, not request.get. The first parameter will be the URL. The second will be the data. And the third will be the header. Now, if we run this, a message should pop up here with the following content. So let's run this. And you can see the message has been sent. So if you did not understand how this worked, I'll quickly go over it again. We used the requests library to send a post request to this URL with the following data and the following header. You can use this for any type of website. Basically, you can navigate to the network tab and uh, basically see any information that is being sent and replicate it. Reading data from a website is quite easy. All you need to do is send a GET request to the specified URL. Let's take, for example, my website. If I would want to read all of this text, all of the HTML code, all I would need to do is copy my URL and then send a GET request to it using request the GET and then passing in the URL. Now, if we print r.text, r being the requests variable, you should see in the console all of the page source being printed. This is the page source. So this is what has been printed here, the HTML of the website. You can use this to get a lot of information from websites. You can, for example, search for specific keywords like if just another coder in r.text.lower. And this will tell us if the following string is in our text. I hope you found this video informative. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more request tutorials.